Alright guys, welcome back. Astronox here for another video of HIT. I need to do another run of this. him last time he uh, he was melting everything I just need to swap to him as soon as it starts there we go look, look at the, da the damage is crazy 70 million might be just 7 million but I've seen him do over 50 million I'd like to make some a uh, couple of video about tips for this game, but I need more knowledge about the game first. I could make one for uh, tips for beginners, but I think I'll just wait a bit more. There's some other games I need to try as well. There's just so many games that every day is like a bunch of games that comes out. I wonder if the Unreal Engine 4 is the best engine for uh, Android games. Android and the uh, iOS. I mean, the graphics are amazing and it's so fast. Like for PC games, the Unreal Engine is just top tier must be this I mean, the same for Android I'll do some uh, some PvP after this. Just take three battles and then one or two brawl. Then I'll try the uh, the islands, fire, water, and uh, forest. See if I can three star one of the boss battle. It was like in the last few days the upgrades I've gained was like on a fairly small like levels. I gained uh, better jewels. And I got the godstone now. But it doesn't give many, many stats. Got some costume. And uh, I trained some tones. And progression's kind of stalling now. It's uh, maybe I hit some kind of wall. 
but uh, if every day I can just keep getting those uh, shards I'll be able to uh, to upgrade my armor transcend my armor make them ascend ascending pieces that's the biggest upgrades To transcend the uh, to transcend the accessories, you need the same accessory. You need to sacrifice the same one. I'm not sure if you ju just need one and then you're able to uh, transcend the item. Maybe you need two. So maybe pulling for the element draw using the feathers on the accessory might be uh, one of the best way to uh, spend uh, my feathers after getting a bunch of AP to farm uh, hammers for the chest it's very specific which which accessory you need because you need the exact same that you're currently using when I was selecting my uh, accessories there was five different ones I believe but those are the accessory with a set bonus I believe there's a bunch of other accessories with no set bonus just normal ones so first I mean you need to pull and then you might not even get immortal any immortal and then when if you do get immortal it might be like one out of ten or worse like the odds The set accessories must just be rarer in general because they're better than the the accessory uh, a single accessory piece that don't have a set bonus. Those are easier to get. I try to friend more people. I like the fact that this game for the most part you can pretty much leave it running on auto the whole time even the missions you can just pay gold to have the skills running Final stage. No, 
Oh yeah, my XP potion. My XP potion is done. Or maybe it's still running. Should have uh, used the... Uh, I mean, done some uh, adventure. But I think even in adventure, the XP that I gain is like... So minuscule, like... Not even 1% per run, like the... Like boss stages. That was like when I was level 60. That would be much worse now. Cool, cool. Open all, let's go. What are those? Option change tickets to superior ones. So many cards. My gold, it just keeps going up. Okay, just checking the equipment real quick. Let me see, transcend. It's like you have to sacrifice same item of immortal grade as a material. It's like maybe you need to transcend, enhance up to a certain point to be able to convert it into an ascending item. Sorry, awakening item. I mean, I don't have any of those. All right. That's where I'm at with the growth mission. Let's transcend equipment once. Then I'll be able to uh, transcend a piece of armor after I get those uh, crystals. Because enhance equipment 10 times, that one I can do easily. Can just enhance a crappy item. This one I could not find a battle. Let's give it a couple seconds. Might have to do the battle on manual in this. It's not peak hour right now. It's still early in the morning.
when when it finds the opponent i wonder if everyone's gonna appear at the same time or it's like gonna find people add them to the group one by one because this might take too long give it a couple seconds again oh wow i will get destroyed here Big loading. Oh. There's no auto. Spectating. That was quick. Hopefully my team can carry. Oh, this guy seems pretty strong. Uh oh, it might be, it might end up being three versus one soon. Oh. Oh yeah, he's, he's done. Sorry guys, I'm the weak link. That's uh, three versus uh, three battle, guys. <laughs> There's some reward here if I can end up getting some points. Oh. Honor and Cygnus. What can you buy with 450 of that, those? Let's check real quick. That's it. Rune card, heroic rune card. I mean, I have not seen another place where to get heroic, I mean, a rune card. have a chance to get completed once okay get my skill battles That's my progression so far. Silent planes is complete. Tip and dust complete. I've been working on loon runes. Uh, right now it's difficulty was uh, still easy. I don't know. Long time. Now. 
Those are co-op dungeons. But you can see the difficulty is still easy. Now I was starting to get hard here, I believe. Is this this one or the next? Uh, still easy. Then it's the other zone. Yes. This, I was nearing the end of it, and uh, as you can see, not that easy anymore. It says you can earn mana equipment from here. And this, this was quite hard, I think. Yes. Like, I don't even know. I could maybe like two star <coughs> some stage. <coughs> I'm sure the boss I cannot do yet. But that's pretty much kind of progression you can have with the growth pack, like early on. <coughs> now here, the easiest stage, I think that might be the easiest boss. says easy and uh, the problem is <clears throat> I just couldn't kill the boss <clears throat> not, in, not even in time I was getting killed before and since last time I've done this my damage went up but not enough. <clears throat> Two point five million hit. Two point seven, I think I saw. Was not seeing these numbers before. Attack boost aura helps a bit. I think my attack here was before this aura, it was about 132,000. So the aura is like a 3% boost. Not, uh, it's not massive, but. <laughs> It helps. I upgraded the, the items on my pet. My pet has uh, immortal items. But I did not enhance the pet. I can get her to max level if I wanted. But what will that really do? I believe it only increase her stats like the map's not even done after this there's another area yeah this is a boss level so I believe it needs to be done before three minutes for three star so far so good I've gained levels since last time I've done this but levels do not Increase your strength by that much. It's, it's small upgrades. I mean, every every bit helps. Okay, I believe this is the final guy. That's the guy that kills me. Yeah. Why does he kill me? Is it because he keeps like knocking me down or stunning me. Like well, combination of that and. It's, it's so tough. It has so much HP. Well, just survival in general. Well, doing pretty good. I'm on his final HP bar, but okay, I keep getting knocked down here. 
ads uh, the two store if I keep repeating this stage whoa might just die here oh get it clutch but uh, if I repeat this maybe I end up short and short maybe I end up killing him now epic weapon okay so Part two. Let me try. Uh, let's try this one. I mean, maybe I can three star it. It's not the boss of the area, so it should be easier. I could totally be wrong and I would get my, my behind whipped here. Let's see. And these guys are tough. It's taking way too long. This needs to be done in under two minutes for a three star. The monster they just they just like look, look like tough monsters. Tough monsters to take down. Like they have high very high survival. Tanky monsters. Bruisers. Start getting knocked down. That's that's really bad. Like I'll just die here. I was supposed to die, but I got brought back. Here goes the three star and and my life as well. There's all the animation when the monster's dead. Yeah, not uh, not an easy stage. Oh, wow. Two seconds more and the pet would have healed me to full almost. Unfortunate. But even if I was full HP, I don't think I can kill this boss. Just give up. So yeah, that's the second area. Not easy. Now... Well, it says easy. 
And I believe that's a lie. So far so good for his boss. Would be the final boss because when you see uh, the boss's name like that, it's, I mean, it's the last boss. Okay, so I have, so I have a minute. Let's just hope he doesn't start dealing insane amount of damage. I've lost a chunk, or a chunk of life already. I was hitting for like 5.5 million a couple times there. All right, all right, come on. Oh, so close, yes. Nice. Well, now I have a stage I can do instant tickets on. Wow, I have 532? Damn. Defense boost and the so uh, probably an AOE. This must hit an area like multiple monsters. That's done. No heal though. No heal or attack boost. I wonder if you can get a heal and the attack boost. That would be crazy. Okay, so that's one thing I can farm. But I need to wait for a vent to, to reduce the cost to 12 I mean 24 is so much now let's see if I can do fire yeah this one I, I don't know
Did I see 12 million? My first skill must be the, the skill that is for the most because it's enhanced from my weapon. It's actually the third skill here. Just, just used it. Just try to pay attention for the which one does what damage. I mean the numbers that pop up don't matter too much because it might just be a skill that does like a few big hits, but other skills do like a bunch of hits. And it just adds up to doing more DPS. Or just damage per skill. damage now. Okay. Skills ready using it. And what's nice with this skill is that it uh, knocks the target up and it it combos with my uh, my combo when the monster is in the air. And that combo is uh, I invested all the skills into it so ends up being Ton of damage. Seems to work work out pretty well. I have not tried like a bunch of combination. But to me investing into a combo <coughs> like I have two skills <coughs> on myself that knock the target up and my pet has a knock target up as well and I I think the combo can be done like the cooldown is fairly low yeah just gonna run out of time oh he hits for a lot <coughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. Wow. Just got lucky. Not three star, but I got lucky. <laughs> so yeah, that one's pretty hard. Well, at least I have one that's three star, so that's that. It's really tempting to just burn my instant tickets on it as soon as the event is up. I need to farm hammers though. 12 a pop uh, can do. 30 something runs 35 runs maybe I do 35 runs and I don't even get one one of these completed ones just shard shard shards 
but uh, I'll test it out later. A minute fifteen for a special shop. Oh, it gives training tickets here, yeah. That's good. Oh, rune. Oops. You can, that's how it works. So I need runes. Oh. Then you unlock for more stats. This is permanent. Wound transformation equipment. Hmm. One out of five types are those like quality okay well i'm not gonna sacrifice a weapon because i need to use them to enhance my weapon so let's just use some boots Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think it like accessory armor and weapon give different type of runes. Okay. Okay, let me just sacrifice another item. I don't think I got too lucky there. HP defense. Meh. Whatever, right? I have to unlock another wood slot as well, so... Ugh. Not good. So the best one was the... Stats. Uh, crit resist. HP defense. Epic, epic, epic. HP recovery, 31. Let me check real quick how much I have. Is it per second? Doesn't say in the stat page. HP recovery, 137. 31 is like 20%. Just put uh, pure stats. Okay. Let's just sacrifice one weapon to get something. Just uh, season one. Yeah. Let's go. Nope. Just epic. Okay, well, some stats. Now green must be accessory. Just use this thing. 
Yep, green. It looks like epic. Underwhelming stats here, but better than nothing, right? Like the growth in this game is just, it's not crazy. It's just, it's all right. That's how it looks like. Crit damage. Crit, attack speed, now I'm working on pure attack, then I'll do like defense and vitality, maybe I just get some crit rate resist instead, yeah, pretty sure monsters can crit you in that. Uh, PV, not just PVP. And I wish I could just disable this thing. It's just worthless items every time. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, you know what to do. Later.